Good morning everyone, it's Friday morning. I've still got today at work, but I'm going to town this morning. I have an appointment at nine, sort of near town, and I need to get some stuff this weekend for my holiday in Spain next weekend. And I thought that I would do that this morning because everywhere seems to open at eight o'clock that I need to go. And so I thought rather than take up any of my weekend doing that stuff with Alex, because it's we're spending the weekend together, I thought I'd try and do it now before work and kill two birds with one stone. So I need to get euros and some toiletries and most importantly my contact lens solution in a travel size because it has to be in a sterile bottle and it only comes in large bottles. Well I've only got it in large bottles. Last time I went they didn't have the travel size that I need so they said they'd order it. I bet you at £10 they haven't done that but we're hopeful. We're hopeful. Just parked in town. Last time I parked here my car got crushed into but I'm going to Mark's to get my Euros. Right, I'm in Marks and Spencer and it opened, it should open in one minute and it's super busy already. Crazy! Noisy, listen to how noisy my shoes are. Like a teacher. This part doesn't appear to be open. I don't know what time it opens. Oh, opening times. Cool is this map. Right, I got my I got 120 euros for 98 pounds. I'm now in boots and I'm just gonna get a few products. I walked past HM and I saw a top I really like and I think it's four pounds, but I don't know what time it opens. It's only like ten past eight and I don't have to leave for my appointment until ten to nine, so what am I gonna do? I thought I'd show you guys what I bought from boots. So I got the uh, three for two mini, so I ended up getting nine products for six. No? Eight. Seven. Dunno. Dunno. <laughs> six. Six products. I paid for six. I got nine. I think. We'll see. So I got this 15 SPF thingy. A little pocket to go. Some breath freshener. For my coffee breath of the morning. I got three of these razors. They're in a pound each. To take away. This is all to take away for future holidays. I got... 10 makeup wipes by Yes and Cucumber and they only had Age Refresh so I got those. They only had one cucumber and I got um, and some more of those on the floor there. And then I got two packs of these. These went in the three for two but these are the best things to clean all your makeup products and makeup brushes every day. They keep everything 100% clean. It's amazing. I will not live without these now for cleaning my makeup. Just come home to drop my car off. You can see a little bee. You can see a little bee. Hi, little bee. Hi, bubbles. Hello. This is a nice surprise. This is a nice surprise. You're not on your own. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Are you looking at my shopping? Are you looking at my shop shops? Mm. Have you been sleeping? Had a nice morning sleeping. Have you? Do I smell nice? Do I smell nice? So I put my. I'm packing actually. I realised I hadn't told you guys that because I'm doing a separate vlog for packing. Um. So I'm packing, <laughs> basically. So I I did this last night, although it's kind of been here in pieces for a while. And because I'm not going for that many days, I think this is probably too many clothes. So I'm just leaving it here. And I'll have another look through tonight and see if I'm taking too much. But um, the toiletries I got this morning, I've just put there. That's my contact lens solution. I can't remember if I told you guys I managed to get that or not. But I did. And then the rest of them, I'm going to, like the other spares, I'm going to put in our holiday box for future holidays. Because actually, the best thing I did last year was have a holiday box because there are some clothes here that I haven't worn since last year and some one pieces that I've been looking for online not these specific ones but the ones very similar to this forgetting that I had them so I think if you have all your clothes out all year round then you wear them and you know you get used to them and you don't 
it's nice to have clothes to look forward to wearing for a special occasion in summary. So yeah, this is it. So sorry, I'm going back to work now. Um, I think my dad's gonna come around and take Heidi for a walk shortly. So uh, she'll be fine and it's quite early. Yeah, it's only quarter to 11, I've done so much. I've done three work appointments. I was shopping before work and then I did quickly divert back to my optician once they'd opened after nine. And yeah, so I've had a really productive morning and now I'm gonna walk back to the office and spend the day there. So I'll see you guys probably tonight, unless I go for a drink after work and then it goes on for hours, or I'll see you in the morning. So I'll see you when I see you. Hello. It's still Friday, it's Friday night. And I got home from work a while ago and I've just been lying on my bed having a little bit of a break. I'm absolutely exhausted today. My last week was um, pretty hectic. My last weekend was really hectic for me. So this week I've been struggling a bit. And now it's the end, I'm exhausted. But I'm going to make supper. Alex is working until about 8.30 um, and he'll have like cereal for supper. He loves cereal. So I'm just going to make myself some courgettes. What I made last night, garlic and chilli courgettes, which was so yummy. So I'm going to make that now. So in here I melted, well I heated up the pan and then I put a bit of butter in and just melted it that way. I've got loads of crushed garlic in here and then a few chilli flakes and some smoky rock salt. And then my colleague was horrified when I told her that I cooked frozen courgettes. These are from Techies, Tesco's. But it's not, I always, I don't always buy frozen veg, but I have frozen veg in the freezer so that if I'm hungry and I don't want to binge on stuff, then I've got frozen veg to make a meal like this, so, you know, no judgement please. And these take about, I don't know, 10 minutes to cook on really high heat. But yeah, this is, this is my thing at the minute. Oh, and so I do it for 11 minutes, or yeah, just over 11, and then um, I, when it's four minutes left, I put loads of soy sauce in, and this is honestly the bomb. The bomb, the bomb, the bomb. And here it is with some, on some cheese and crackers. Doesn't that look yummy? Bit random, but trust me, it's good. Morning, everyone. Look at my excellent unicorn socks I'm wearing today. So we are gonna go into London today and we're going to an art exhibition which sounds uber posh, doesn't it? We're going to Quentin Blake's art exhibition at the House of Illustration. Um, Quentin Blake did the illustrations for Roald Dahl, the Roald Dahl books, and I love Roald Dahl, and I've got like a few of his sketches and things. So, I have never been to a Quentin Blake exhibition, and so we are going, and I'm very excited to see it, and... We're going to take our scooters and have a scoot around London today as well because I think it's not going to be too hot and hopefully not too cold. And that is the plan. So I'll see you guys in when we get into London and probably not before unless something exciting happens. We've just arrived in Westfield. Say hello. Hello. And we, I bought some sunglasses off eBay that claim to be genuine Tiffany and I'm not 100% sure they are because they're really, really light and I've had felt Tiffany for sunglasses and they're really, really heavy. And when I asked the person who sold it to me were they genuine, they're very, very confident over email that they were. So just to put my mind at rest, I'm gonna ask Tiffany's if they think they're real. Tiffany, the woman was really mean to me. She basically told me to go away. But I had a look at the other sunglasses and I'm pretty sure that the ones I bought are genuine. Um, 
a lot of them are just as light and they've got the serial number in the same place and everything feels the same so um, I think it's alright but we were just going past Anya Highmarsh and how cool are these boots? It's got the boots logo on and they're boots. Hey, how cool is that? I love Anya Highmarsh. So cool. We have just got to King's Cross Station, home of your travel transport for Hogwarts. Alex is going to roll in and um, go to school. We brought our scooters with us and we are going to... <laughs> Very good babe! We're going to go to the gallery. What do you know? Alex can start. I feel like there's an accident waiting to happen here. We're just on our way to the House of Illustration. We're still at... Um, my hair's on the King's Boulevard. We just found this little rusting stoop here, which is quite sweet. And people having pizza lunch, I believe, when they're living on their boat or staying on their boat. And that looks like a nice rooftop bar as well. So I think we'll go to the gallery and then go somewhere for a drink, maybe. Alex and I are currently in Granary Square, which seems to be something to do with the University of Arts. There's so many students doing art here. We've had a quick scoot around looking for our art gallery, which we can't find. And I can't tell you how much this smells like Splash Mountain. It's so great. It's not massively warm, but I bet when it's really hot, this place gets so busy. So cool. It smells so like Disney. I miss Splash Mountain. There's some really nice places to eat outside here. And do you know, I love all the buildings. As you guys know, buildings are my thing. I love buildings. Yeah, this is cool. But I'll show you guys a bit of the art that people are doing. Alex is just securing our scooters to the bike rack. We are so lost. There's literally no signs. I guess you need to be a culture vulture to know where you're going. And Alex and I. Oh look, balloons, K and R. Alex and I are not culture vultures. In a nutshell. I'm feeling cultural already. Oops, just hit something in my. There's so much talent in the world. You just have no idea. Well, maybe you do, it's just me that doesn't because I don't go to art galleries very often. I think I like sculptures. No, maybe it doesn't, really. I'm still trying to find the House of Illustration. <laughs> no, you can play ping pong here. <gasps> Let's play! There's a free ball. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Alex and I literally don't know where we're going. We know that we're close, because we asked a guy and he said, oh, it's, it's just on the, oh, it's not down there. He said, it's just on the left. You're here, can you listen? That map told us that the House of Illustration is actually to the left of this entire place that we've been walking around in circles. So that's the second person today that's been very unhelpful and not very nice to us. So shame on you. Or is What's the face from Modern Family? Shame! Yeah. Oh. Mitchell from Modern Mitchell. Family. Mitchell's son. Look, Anya, Anya Heinsohn's flat. I don't know if it is, that's just jokes. Jokes from me. So do you walk on the other side? Right, we found it. <clears throat> Not after walking around a lot. What is the time? 20 to 2. 20 to 2, lovely. <laughs> I don't even know how we didn't see that. Oh, look, we were down there. We were there. It's so annoying. Quinty Blake in the window. Yay. I'm excited. You free coffee. We 
we just finished at the Quentin Blake Gallery. It was really nice. I really, really liked it. It yeah, was seven, seven Wonders of Magic, I think. And it was from seven illustrations from seven different books about magic. It was really nice, but I couldn't take any pictures or anything, as you can't in art galleries. Um, but we're just going to have a look at this now. Comica. See what it's about. Maybe get some lunch or something. We just bought a postcard from this woman. beautiful pug. She's glittery. Which is so cute. Now we're gonna go for lunch. The Fancy Grain store has the most amazing food. I think I'm gonna have American pancakes with bacon and fruit or banana loaf. And they also have Chinese dishes. really really yummy and it's quite a cool place to eat so that's good and we're getting our scooters now we're about three or four miles away from Covent Garden I think so we're gonna scoot there it might not be three or four it might be about three how many miles is it to Covent Garden do you think I don't know but Google Maps said it was 49 minute walk so I reckon that's about Three or four miles? Okay. We shall see. But we'll probably see in Common Garden. We're in Cambridge Circus and just come across this Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. The eighth story, 19 years later. I wonder what it is. place that I can find that do frozen edamame beans and frozen courgettes sliced and because I seem to have a thing for that at the minute Alex is braving it with me and coming to Techie Co's. Hi everyone I've just come to say goodbye quickly Alex and I are going to chill out for the rest of the night we're pretty tired and Heidi's oh yeah you oh Heidi's happy because she's got a bone and she's at my feet which is lovely so it's good night and goodbye from all three of us and we shall see you tomorrow thank you bye